the the concept of self custody is you know this foundational principle for many in the Bitcoin community. How does River balance the ease of use between custodial services with the ethos of self custody? And I know that you kind of delved into that a little bit, but I think a lot of companies are not even companies, but I would say companies a little bit, but more so the user, the Bitcoin user. They're nervous about self custody where as the price of Bitcoin becomes more ubiquitous, it's starting to hit these all time highs. You know, we're probably in the runnings for a bull run. We're in the runnings for 100K Bitcoin. You have to look at self custody a little different. And I would love to know, like, the, the ethos of, of River as far as um, pushing the use of custodial services versus the ethos of self custody for. Yeah. So the way I think about it is um, every person is on a journey. Like, a, a, you know, a person's knowledge isn't static. And so the way we think about it is, you know, like a custodial service is the place almost everyone is going to get started. It is the easiest way to get started with Bitcoin. But I just see that as the beginning of a journey, right? Eventually, you can, um, once you get comfortable enough with the concept of Bitcoin, you can start saying, oh, okay, maybe I'll take some Bitcoin off of this custodial service and start actually using it myself and securing it myself. And... Um, and then maybe you go, might go further and, I'll, oh, maybe I'll set up a multi-sig or an even more secure custody system that I control or my family controls, and I'll take all of my Bitcoin there. Um, and so we see people on a journey, and, and we're just they're coming to us on the first step of their journey um, often. And, um, and, and so that, that's our mindset is we're here to educate. We're here to help people do what they want, what they feel comfortable with. We also don't want to say... If you buy Bitcoin or River, take it off now, even if you don't know what you're doing, because that's also honestly just as dangerous or more dangerous. Um, so we want to give people what they want, but educate them and encourage them to explore this self-sovereign direction. Yeah, Bitcoin is really having its day in the sunshine, right? And I, I think when we're raising money, you have to always think about the narrative that the company, the startup is telling investors. And the River CEO said, you know, these bank failures and bailouts have been a reminder of why Bitcoin is so important. And now is the time to tell that story, right? Like now is the time where, where investors get that emotional reaction to these bank failures. A lot of people in Silicon Valley were banking with these banks. And so it makes total sense that this is the narrative that they would use to raise this capital. I think if we look from a regulatory perspective, Gary Gensler has said, you know, Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency that he doesn't view as a security. And now we have Bitcoin doing other things. We have BRC20 tokens, we have ordinals. The only, the only bad thing right now is the congestion that Bitcoin is experiencing from all of the transactions, all of the actions. And what do you need to, to solve these problems? It's more money. So it just makes sense to me. Zach? Um, and I think what's important about Bitcoin is that it brings to the world this ability to opt out of the system. I don't think it's important that every single person does opt out. I think it's important that they can. And that's the key. Because um, as long as people can take self-custody or can opt out, things will be honest. Um, and that's how I think about it.